Hello Xer Solutionist. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about how to create a stream writer with a file path, and the file name of a text file. First, let's understand how to create a simple stream writer in file path. This is the sample output of a simple stream writer. This is the form lab one, it has a text box area and button. The name of the memory space is form lab one. We initialize a constructor for form file name class named as a form file name. And inside of the form constructor, we instantiate the form file name class. Then we have created an event for create button a button on click event inside of the event. We called our declared constructor name to show its dialog. We initialize string data type name get input is equal to the value of text input. Then we initialize string data type document path that is equals to the environment.get folder path with a parameter of environment.special folder in my document. Environment.get folder path with a parameter of environment.special folder and the folder name is the syntax on getting the folder path. This code is to create a folder path. We already initialize using system.io. Using Steam Writer named as output file is equals to new stream writer path with a combination of document path and form file name class set file name variable value. This code is to create a stream writer to write in a text file and document path file name. After creating a stream writer, we print our get input value to the output file or file, and then we print it to console. We have created a form file ending to create a file name for a text file. It has a label, text box, and button. We have initialized public static modifier string data type name as set file ending. Then we have created a button on click event. Inside of the event, we declared the set file name that is equals to the value of text file ending value. Then close the file for stream writer after the event. Now let's make it more challenging. Let's make the file name automatically the value is a student number. We have created a form registration of with labels, text boxes, date picker, combo box, and a button. This form interface is what we have created in our videos. Then we have created a button on click event. Inside of the event, we initialize string data type array name as a list with 10 elements. Then we add the text boxes, date picker, and combo box value to the element of the array. List element 0 is equals to student number string with the concatenated text student number text value that is converted to int. List element 1 is equals to full name string with the concatenated text last name, text first name, and text last name text value that is separated by space. List element 2 is equals to program string with the concatenated combo box programs text value. List element 3 is equals to gender string with the concatenated combo box gender text value. List element 4 is equals to h string with the concatenated text h text value that is converted to int. List element 5 is equals to birthday string with the concatenated date picker birthday text value with a format of year, months, and day. List element 6 is equals to contact number string with the concatenated text contact number text value. After adding the value to the list element, we have created an if condition. Check if text student number is equals equals to null, then show a message box with a message of empty file name. Else, then string data type document path that is equals to the environment.get folder path with a parameter of environment.special folder in my document. Using Steam Writer named as output file is equals to new stream writer path with a combination of document path and the text student number value. Then we have created a for each condition string data type name var name in the list. We'll loop. Then we print our var name value to the output file or file, and then we print it to console. Then the message box will show that the data is inserted. 
We add this as value for our program and gender combo box. Let's run it. If we click the button with empty student number we will have an unhandled exception the if condition will not execute. Now, let's run it with complete value. After inputting all the data information needed and we click the button the message box will show. For you to understand it more this is the flow of code. Console print the value of var name. Output file print the value of var name. Stream writer will create a file name of the student number in the document path. This is the sample output after fixing the unhandled exception and the if condition will execute. So the code of this is what we have used in our uploaded videos. If you're new to my YouTube channel and you don't know about this code visit the link in the description below. I hope you learned something from this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel.